Take one. I'm just going to cut you off every time you start talking. Better not. <laughs> this is the beginning, made in 2000. My video. <laughs> Got to talk about clip one, dude. Look at him. <laughs> it shows his mentality and his personality at that point a lot. Just, he is not psyched. He didn't pull <laughs> no. <laughs> he's pissed. Used to pull, he's just used to pulling stuff, so he's pissed if he's not. Yeah. But Mike has the, this is the first section in the beginning. Yeah. He was probably like 15. He, I wouldn't doubt if some of the clips in the beginning he's even 13 because it spanned a couple years filming process. So I got my video camera in the, the beginning of 1999 and like so we just kind of like started filming and like let's make the video, let's make the video and then it was just something I had with me the whole time and Mike was just killing it. And I mean, as you can see, he goes from, I think there's some clips where he's just on like a, his own bike and then he'll go, what, from a bully to a mosh. So he went through even a couple sponsors during the filming of it. Yeah. That was one of his first pegless ice picks right there. That was quite a long time ago. What contest is that? That's a Huntington Beach thing. He's on bully. Did he win that one? No. It was probably amateur, right? Cause he entered a lot no, of No, I think he was in the pro contest at that oh, one. Was he? When he started riding for Bully. Yeah. Uh, Dude, that back end on that thing was so long. He was so tiny still. You're saying that's one of his first rails? That's a, that is his first rail. How crazy is that? 25 stair rails, his first rail. <laughs> that is huge rail is his first rail. Yeah, he could pretty much just, whatever he decided to do, he could do it. He's really good at being able to look at something and know how to do it. Like, or show up somewhere and ride it better than people that have been riding that stuff every day, ever thought of riding it. As he used to race a lot. Mike was actually a really, really good racer. I think he was Utah number one for a while. He was really fast. He would jump stuff at the track that I wouldn't jump, and he was a little kid with skinny wheels. Yeah, I think that's what always allowed him to do a lot of shit others couldn't, is because he just had this inhuman pump and was so much faster than most other people. So he could get speed in places others couldn't. Yeah, he definitely had a lot of BMX handling skills from starting with racing. Is that 12th Street? Yeah, I like that. I was filming for that from so far away. All <laughs> zoomed in all the way. He would just show up and know how to look at stuff and just all of a sudden kill it. He was really young and immature like a lot of us would be and just used to, he was just really good and better than all of us. He was a little fucker. He definitely was mouthy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I didn't punch him sometimes. <laughs> but I don't know, I just, I don't know. He was like my little brother. He's like our little shitty brother, huh? <laughs> you get used to it and you give him shit, he gives you shit. You didn't see many suicide no-handers out of him, huh? No. I wouldn't doubt if Mike, when he watched this, probably hated the majority of his tricks, too. Just because he was very critical of himself. Yeah. Super critical of himself. This was before he started wearing the skinny pants. He's got big, huge pants right there. Oh, that's right. He does. <laughs> this is pretty skinny pants. Yeah. This is the saggy Mike. He never did whips, almost ever, but when he decided to, they looked so freaking amazing. He would flips, whips, but he just chose to ride with style instead.